I feel like this shouldn't even have to be said, but tonight's game was yet another reminder why Lamar Jackson's importance and his value to the Baltimore Ravens should never be questioned ever again. I mean, it should have never been questioned in the first place, but it should never be questioned ever again. Team, keep it clean. I'm here to share my post-game thoughts on a game that we all watched. Well, a lot of us watched uh, against the Pittsburgh Steelers. And shout out to everybody that was at that game live. I really commend y'all. I, I give it up to y'all for real. I, I got to give y'all an ovation. I'm not, not a standing ovation because I'm still sitting down, but I give y'all an ovation to be out there to watch a game that meant nothing to the Baltimore Ravens, uh, to watch a game where a lot of the stars weren't even playing, to watch a game that was in some real ugly weather conditions live. I commend y'all like crazy. So I got a lot of love for y'all, and I appreciate y'all being out there having fun for all of us Ravens fans and just football fans in general. Now, Team Keep It Clean, before we get into this uh, game and the post-game thoughts, uh, make sure you subscribe to the channel. We we are officially at 72,000 subscribers, so I appreciate y'all. Let's get to 73, buddy. So let's on the road to 73,000 subscribers. I appreciate y'all. Let's get it, man. When you subscribe, turn your notifications on so you do not, not miss not a single video. And also, leave a like on the video because y'all have been doing that a lot and it's been helping out a lot. So keep on doing it. Uh, now, into this game against the Pittsburgh Steelers. Um, ugly game from start to finish. Uh, a lot of the starters didn't play, but there was some that did. And a lot more than I anticipated. When I saw Michael Pierce out there, I saw um, Justin Matta, BK over there trying to get, what, sack number 14? I don't think he got it, though. Uh, I saw Jadavian Clowney. He got his money. He earned his incentive. Shout out to him. Nelson Aguilar, who's not really a starter, but he gets a lot of playing time. Oh, he came up a little bit short of his incentives I, I felt for him um justice hill he was out there a lot him and tyler Huntley just did not have a good connection though uh gus edwards he was out there melvin gordon he was out there for a little bit then he fumbled and they're like gus come here then gus fumbled and it's oh man, this game was just a mess man it was a mess um the starting offensive line for the majority was out there um yeah a lot of the starters on defense Patrick Queen was out there there was obviously no uh Roquan Smith but PQ was out there uh so yeah Ravens had a lot of start Geno Stone he was out there um so yeah they, they had a lot of guys out there and, and I get it because it's 53 men on the roster and it's only so many people you can't sit every single body because uh, I know that was my mindset going into this game. Like, nobody who's starting. I don't want to see nobody who's starting playing. Uh, but it's only so many roster spots. It's only so much depth and whatnot. The Ravens got some good depth. But it's only so many people who could sit out the game. Because you still got to play offense. You still got to play defense. You still got to play special teams. So a lot of people are going to have to play. But the number one goal of this game was not to even win. Uh, but in my opinion, it was just to get out healthy. Straight up, just to get out healthy. The only injury I remember hearing about, I think they said Geno Stone, he left a little bit early. Somebody else left a little bit early, and they said Brent Urban, he had concussion-like symptoms. But see, another reason why having the bye week is nice. I know a lot of people didn't want the bye week. They said, oh, no, we don't want no number one seed. But you playing a game like that, you got guys, whether starters or depth guys, that can come back and they can get healthy. You got starters that didn't even play. That's taking some time to get healthy. Marlon Humphrey with his calf. Kyle Hamilton with his MCA. Like, it's a lot of guys. That, and this is a long season. Everybody's hurting right now. But some guys just have injuries. And everybody's hurting overall. But it's nice that the Baltimore Ravens are in the position that they are in because they earned it. They earned it. I've seen so, especially this week, I, I've seen a lot of Bills fans. Blaming the Baltimore Ravens, saying, oh, the Baltimore Ravens, they're going to lose to the Steelers on purpose just so we don't get in. And it's like, hold up now. If you would have taken care of your own business, if the Buffalo Bills would have taken care of their own business, you ain't got to have no conversations about the Baltimore Ravens. Y'all wouldn't have to be even bringing that up at all. So don't take it up with Baltimore Ravens. Right? Take it up with Buffalo. Take it up with Josh Allen. But anyway, um... This game, again, it was ugly. Najee Harris, you, you could tell from the, from the very first drive. Uh, I think the, the Steelers fumbled twice on the first drive. They recovered both because they were, like, bobbling the ball in the backfield and dropping it and stuff. Uh, but from the very first drive, Najee Harris, he was just going off. He was going off. He was looking easy. Baltimore Ravens, they just looked like, especially on defense, they looked like they were not trying. They looked like they were not really giving much effort out there. It was, like, really up and down. But overall, they looked like they were like, oh, whatever. Let's just, let's just, let's just, let's just get through this thing. Let's just get through it. Look like it almost looked like a joint practice sometimes. It it was rough. Um, but it just 
it was what it was. Najee Harris had like over 100 yards. I think Mason Rudolph, he went 18 for 12. This dude, <laughs> this dude missed two passes the whole game. Again, not the same Baltimore Ravens. A lot of guys sitting now. But still, he went 18 for 20 uh, with the touchdown to Deontay Johnson. Um, that long touchdown, 71 yards, I think. And they were like, oh, that's the longest play that the Baltimore Ravens gave up all season. And it's interesting because how long was George Pickens touchdown? I forget. But either way, um, it's like the, the, the starters weren't even out there. A lot of the starters weren't even out there. So that makes sense. It makes sense. Um, but this game just, I don't know, like, wh where do you start and where do you finish? It just it didn't mean anything. Now, we have officially, the Baltimore Ravens have officially been swept by the Pittsburgh Steelers. And we know context is very important, but a, a sweep is a sweep. So Steelers got that. But in this game, I know at least for me, I, I can only speak for me. I can't speak for everybody. And let me know if y'all felt the same way. But I was watching this game, seeing people fumble, seeing drops, seeing missed tackles. See the Ravens give up touchdown. See this, that, all these sloppy mistakes and da da da. da. I wasn't even getting mad, and, and and I got to give a big thank you to the Baltimore Ravens because this was the very first game this year that we got to watch stress free. No stress whatsoever. No issues whatsoever. We were chilling. I was actually during this game. I had ended up cooking. I had made like I had I had. Chopped up some beef, I put it in some noodles, I chopped up some onions, put some little chili oil in there, I put a bunch of seasoning in there, cause you know, you like, you got to season the food and season it the right way, give it some real good flavor and whatnot. Um, yeah, I put some, some soy sauce, some teriyaki, so all, all, all this kind of stuff, but anyway, I got to do all that while watching the game. Cause I wasn't stressed, I'm like, okay, something, ha okay, something happens, oh, alright, cool, it is what it is. But I, I thank the Baltimore Ravens for putting us in that position to where we were uh, able to do that. Because there was no other game this season where we could do, at least I could do that. Watch a game stress-free, these Baltimore Ravens, <laughs> nah. But for them to, what are they, 13-4, and four. for them to have won all the games that they won this year, um, they, they were able to get that number one seed and they got to get it early. And they really separated themselves from a lot of the competition. Now, we, of course, wish they would have been going into the postseason with a win, even with the backups. But, again, this is a loss that me personally, I'm, I'm not mad at. Because the expectations going into this game were low. Hopes were not necessarily high, but you, you hope that the Baltimore Ravens would win. Hope that Tyler Huntley would go off. Especially because this was Tyler Huntley's last showing. This is it for him. That's it for him in the Baltimore Ravens uniform nine times out of ten. This was his last showing, and I'm thinking like, all right, Tyler Huntley, he's gonna do, he's gonna show something because he's getting ready to be a free agent. So this is his opportunity to put on a show for everybody, for the world to see, because the world is watching. There were no other games on at the same time the Baltimore Ravens game was on. So everybody, all eyes were on Tyler Huntley. All these GMs who may be thinking about it, even as a backup, even as depth. So that was his opportunity, and I just, it didn't go good. It, it, it did not go good um, at all, in my opinion. Uh, he had some moments, had some nice moments, but again, you just see, and, and I would hate when people would get very lazy and say that Tyler Huntley, he can do everything that Lamar Jackson can do. He can't. And, and that's not a knock at him. It's just more so giving a shout out to Lamar Jackson because he is an extremely special player, and he's just different, man. He's different. Tyler Huntley could scramble, he could take up, but you see his scrambling, you see Lamar Jackson scrambling, it's different. It's very different. Um, just them, them throwing the ball. It's different. It's very different. They are not the same player at all. N not even close. Um, so it was just, again, like I said at the beginning of this video, don't, don't ever downplay Lamar Jackson's or doubt Lamar Jackson's value to this team ever again. Ever again, ever again. So, uh, but yeah, with Tyler Huntley, that, that's officially a wrap. Uh, now Baltimore Ravens, uh, and this is all next year talk anyway. Malik Cunningham, uh, they'll see what he can do. Uh, I'm sure they'll bring in an undrafted rookie free agent, maybe maybe a possible veteran for like training camp and stuff. But um, yeah, man, I think that's, that's a wrap with Tyler Huntley uh, and the Baltimore Ravens after this year, of course. But Something to think about, too, with this game. Um, that is the 
last loss for the Baltimore Ravens to get this year. That's the last loss that they allowed to get this year. Because <laughs> if they lost again after that, then who will be crying? But I don't think we're going to have to cry. That's just my opinion, though. But I don't think we're going to be crying at all. Maybe happy tears, but sad tears, no. Um, but, yeah, that was the last game that they could afford to lose. Uh, and this, now it starts. It starts. Well, we got two weeks. But the playoffs, they start now for the Baltimore Ravens. They are done. Their season is done. And they, they get a head start on a lot of other teams. That's something to think about, too. Baltimore Ravens, since their season is, the regular season is officially done, they get a head start on every single other team in the league. But every other single NFL playoff team, they get a head start on that. So they can focus on, I mean, they don't know who their opponent is yet. Uh, so that's going to take some time. But still, uh, you can start relaxing. You could go home, start chilling, and... Not don't chill too much now, but yeah, man. So anyway, I mean, not not much to say about this game again because it didn't mean anything. Um, but we are glad that the Baltimore Ravens got out there pretty healthy overall. Now, what does suck, T.J. Watt? T.J. Watt, he um, I hope it ain't nothing serious. I I, I just say that I hope it ain't nothing serious because he took that injury where I think he jumped up in the air and one of his players like bumped up into him and then his, he landed the wrong way on his leg. Then he left the game for the game. Uh, so hopefully it ain't nothing serious with T.J. Watt, man. So, I mean, we'll, we'll see, though. Uh, I'm sure that will come out uh, maybe even by the time you see this video, but definitely by the night. Um, I'm sure we'll know what's happening uh, with T.J. Watt. Um, so, yeah, man. Uh, oh, okay. okay. I'm glad I checked. It says T.J. Watt. Um, it says, let me just read it. My phone taking a little bit to load. It said, uh, based on initial tests, Steelers potential defensive player of the year, T.J. Watt is believed to have suffered a grade three MCL. Uh, Sources said he'll have further tests, but that's a multi-week injury. Better than an ACL tear, but not good if Pittsburgh makes the playoffs. Ooh, so grade three. So Kyle Hamilton, just to put that in some sort of context, Kyle Hamilton had a grade one MCL tear. And I believe, correct me if I'm wrong, medical people, but I believe the higher the grade, the worse it is. Because remember, with Kyle, uh, with Kyle Hamilton's grade one MCL tear, uh, or not, not tear, it was a sprain. It was a sprain. So, yeah. So, yeah, T.J. Watt got a sprain as well. But with Kyle Hamilton's MCL sprain, it was grade one. He was week to week. He was week to week. So, they said, oh, he, he could come back any time. He may miss a week. Or, he's week to week. But he, never, he didn't miss any time. But with T.J. Watt, he has a grade three MCL sprain. And that says it's a multi-week injury. It doesn't say week to week. So multi-week. So he could be could be two weeks, could be three weeks, but for Pittsburgh Steelers, you gotta assume that he is out uh for their if they do make the playoffs, because they still need some help, I believe. I don't know everything that they need, but I know they do need a lot of help. Um, but yeah, with Baltimore Ravens, they came out of the game uh just relatively healthy, and that was the biggest thing about that. Um, team keep it clean. Before we get out of here, I gotta say I thank you all, uh, because this has been a really, really fun season. I appreciate y'all. We had so much fun this season. Uh, we had a lot of fun on the live streams that was doing uh, every game except this one. Um, and, and and just to let y'all know, um, initially we had plans on this around this time, well around during the game time, but then those plans got canceled. Um, which I was like, oh, okay, cool. But then I was thinking, Ugh, I I want to stream, but then I was thinking like, you know what? I, I'm a, I'm gonna take a little break. Uh, I, I'm going to take a break for this game. I'm going I'm to chill this game. And uh, hopefully Team Keep It Clean will understand. Hopefully y'all did and do understand. Um, but, yeah, I, I do appreciate y'all for being here for every single stream. I appreciate y'all being here for every single video. Uh, I appreciate y'all supporting like crazy. I appreciate y'all just helping the channel grow. I know it was, it was some slow growth uh, a lot of times throughout this season. A lot slower growth than the norm. But still growth nonetheless, and we're still grateful for everything, uh, regardless if it was fast growth, if it was slow growth, whatever it was. Um, so I appreciate y'all allowing the channel to go through changes. I appreciate y'all uh, being part of that. I appreciate any suggestions that y'all have put in the comment section or sent me in a DM. Uh, I appreciate every uh, just everything from y'all. Shout out to every single team. Keep it clean patron. And my apologies again. I, I keep telling y'all like I wish I could do more for y'all. I really do, um, because you, you spend your hard-earned money to, to show extra support to the channel, and, and that's on me. I, 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 I wish I could do more. 
Um, but stuff just be so busy, as y'all know. But it's it's a lot of work that goes into the channel. Uh, it's a lot of stuff that happens behind the scenes to go into the, making a video, making a one single video. A lot of work goes into it. Um, but and I know it's not the fancy, it's not the prettiest channel, anything like that. But it's still a lot of work. So I appreciate y'all supporting. I appreciate every single team. Keep it clean, channel member. I uh, I appreciate everything that y'all do. Just again showing extra support. Uh, so it, it does mean a lot. I, I, I wish I had a list of everybody who was a, a patron, everybody who was a channel member so I could call y'all out by name. Cause I, and I do need to do that and I will do that because y'all deserve that because y'all show a lot of extra support uh, to this channel. Y'all have been showing a lot of extra support to the channel. So I just really need to thank you all for exactly uh, what you all do because it is a lot. Y'all do a lot. And just everybody as a whole, uh, y'all have done so much for this channel. Y'all have done so much for me. Uh, I appreciate what y'all do for my family. I appreciate the fact that y'all are so supportive Y'all are so positive uh, Even when stuff is rough Y'all still remain positive Even when stuff looked a little bit gloomy sometimes And now Baltimore Ravens haven't had many gloomy moments This season Well they have injury wise But as far as win losses and stuff Hasn't been many gloomy moments So that's a, a nice thing But um, no seriously I, I, I really appreciate y'all man Because y'all really um have held it down uh, This football season So I thank you I thank you um, We looking forward to the playoffs uh, we're looking forward to whatever's going to be next, man. So much love to y'all. Much appreciation to every single one of y'all. I wish I, I wish I could thank every single person individually. And if I have ever talked to you, whether through DM, whether in person, whether however, then I know I have thank you, that, but I got to thank you again. Thank you again. So this is my personal thank you to you watching this video. I appreciate you. I appreciate all the time that you spent with this channel this season. I appreciate all the effort that you've put into this channel this season. I appreciate the comments, every like, you subscribing, you having notifications turning on, you telling your friends, your family about the channel, everything. Thank you. Thank you to every single person that we've got to meet this season. Thank you for every single person that has just shown any type of love, not to me, but to any Probably in the comment section on this channel to any other channels that we've brought on this channel we still got to bring on some more uh thank you thank you thank you thank you for all the love that y'all keep showing man i love y'all i appreciate y'all i'll see y'all real soon we out